Over at antipro.nl, and in this video, I want to show you how to trust a certificate from from vCloud Director or any website and put it in your trusted certificate store. So we open the browser. In this case, it's Chrome, and then we go to the vCloud Director links, and we're going to the provider portal of Site B. And you notice that yeah, the connection is not private. And we uh, see that we have. Uh, a danger ahead of us and when I go to advanced I'm able to select proceed and then go to the website unsafe but if you want to get rid of this message you can also trust the certificate the self-signed certificate generated uh, on the cloud director appliance so when I go to not secure I'm able to inspect inspect this certificate so the dates are okay it has been renewed recently but um, yeah, it's self-signed, so we don't trust the root certification of this certificate. So we go into this second tab, and this is where we have the option copy to file. I click next, I choose the default X509 next. Then I have to specify a name, so in this case it's site B. And I'm going to browse for a location. Let's put it on the desktop. Save. Ah, I have to specify the file side B. Save. Next. And then we can click finish. And the export was successful. So when I minimize the browser and I go to this certificate, I can choose to install this certificate. And I'm going to install this for the machine. And this certificate will be placed in a specific certificate store, the Trusted Root Certificate Authorities. I click Next. I click Finish. Okay, the import was successful. So I'm going to close all the sessions of Chrome. And I'm opening Chrome again. And then we go to Fleet Cloud Director. And we go to Site B. Now we don't have the warning anymore. Okay, Eric Sloof is signing off. Good luck, have fun.